Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I'm Jules Giang and this is Season 3 of K-Check. As always, sinisiguro naming may challenge para sa bawat contestant at viewer at laging may bagong natututunan habang pinagdadaanan ang mga challenges. Kaya naman stick with us until the final week of this exciting competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have Leah. Leah is a freelance theater, film, and TV actress with a foundation in singing, acting, and dance. Her most recent projects include Kung Paano Nanalo Sa Karera, si Rosang Taba, and she enjoys running, golfing, and tennis. A passionate art student aiming to bring heart to her craft, Leah is always on the ball, facing challenges head-on with gusto. Up next, we have Cyrus. Cyrus is a third-year mechanical engineering student from Mapua University in Intramuros. His pastimes are watching anime and playing video games, and he likes to read anything that gets his curiosity. And next, we have Chelsea. Chelsea is a business administration student from UP Diliman. True to her name, she loves all things sea, the beach, swimming, scuba diving, and marine life. Despite that, she also enjoys staying indoors with her books, K-dramas, and anime. And finally, we have Vera. Vera is a double degree undergraduate from De La Salle University. She is the co-founder of Panera Multimedia Productions and still by AV Creatives Firm. She enjoys collecting postcards and stamps, mostly from her travels. Additionally, she considers her seven-year-old Pomshi, Olio, the love of her life. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics from UP Diliman. Next, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chair of the UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, we have UP Diliman Department of Art Studies Chair, Assistant Professor Sofia Guillermo. At ngayon, contestants, it's time for our first round. Correct answers are 10 points each. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's begin! This is round one. Question number one. In what country did Felipe VI become king in 2014? Leah. Spain. Spain is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. The first manned spacecraft that orbited the moon in 1968, Leah. Sorry, Apollo 11. That is wrong. Okay, let me proceed. The moon in 1968 was named after what mythological deity? Okay, the correct answer is actually pwedeng Apollo lang or Apollo 8. Yes, okay. Question number three. Holi is a festival of colors celebrated in Nepal and what other large Hindu country? India. India. India is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In algebra, what is the value of 2 times x if x minus 1 is equals to 7? Vera. 18. 18 is wrong. The correct answer is 16. Question number five. The PIDEA is a government agency responsible for the implementation of laws on dangerous drugs. What does the E in PIDEA stand for, Chelsea? Enforcement. Enforcement is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. It is legal to feed what type of bird in St. Mark's Square in Venice, Italy? Vera. D Dove. Dove is wrong. Yeah. Pigeon. Pigeon is correct. Okay, check. Dahan, dahan lang. <laughs> okay. Question number seven. Which former president later became a representative of the 2nd District of Pampanga? 
Chelsea. Makapagal Arroyo. Gloria Makapagal Arroyo is correct. Okay, check. Sorry po. Okay lang. <laughs> Question number eight. What color is between red and yellow in a rainbow? Vera. Orange? Orange is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What is the nationality of great composers Ludwig van Beethoven? Pia? German. Let me proceed. And Johann Sebastian Bach, you said German. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. The PITX is a transit hub that connects Metro Manila as far north to Baguio and Davao in the south. What does the P in PITX stand for? Cyrus. Paranyake. Paranyake is correct. Okay, check. <laughs> Siguro ko may emotion yung kanina pa umaaray yung mga. <laughs> Okay. Question number 11. In what southern country can you find the city of Perth and the nearby outback area? Australia. Let me proceed. Which was struck by wild bushfires in the summer of 2024? You said Australia. That is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. Question number 12. In what sport did Yannick Sinner become number one ranked male player, Leah? Tennis. Let me proceed in the world in June 2024. Tennis is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number one. Okay, so after that round, let's do a scores recap. Leah is in the lead with 60 points, followed by Chelsea with 20 points. And then we have Cyrus and Vera with 10 points each. So contestants dito sa show, meron tayong segment na mas kinikilala natin yung background ng bawat contestant. Ito ang K Chica. So, simulan natin with Leah. So, Leah, siguro mag-pretend tayo na pinopromote mo yung production mo. Okay? So, tell us about kung paano nanalo sa karera si Rosang Taba. Thank you for that wonderful question. Honestly, it's like, <laughs> no, uh, uh, I really want to like um, promote BUP plays, to lang UP, because like I'm a theater arts student, and um, BUP uh, produces the most beautiful plays. That's not biased at all, but like it's very... Um, you know, it, uh, researched and um, we put a lot of heart into our productions talaga. So parang we, re recently we did Kung Paano Nanalo Sa Carrera, si Rosang Taba and I was part of the ensemble there. Um, so it's about uh, a large woman who won a race against a, re a really fit um, Spaniard. So parang it, it, it delves into political aspects as well as body positivity um, and, and it's a children's play. So parang uh, our aim is to really touch children's hearts um, and everyone else's as well. So um, for the next season, ang showing po namin ay Sidhit Silakbo. It's, um, it's a feminist play so I think um, it's worth it talaga for everyone to watch it. So. Or if there's one role na dream role mo, ano yun, eventually? Oh, I wanna do, ano po, psychotic roles. Something that delves into psychology, the human psyche, mga yeah, Looking heavy forward. topics. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you so much, Leah. Ngayon naman si Cyrus. So, Cyrus, recently, what reading material yung napupukaw yung interest mo ngayon? Um, usually, generally lang po talaga. Uh, it's about anything, but sa, anything about science talaga. Pero usually, like how things are made initially, like for any any machines, any anything that kung paano sila ginagawa in sa simula. Like usually pag ano yung mga mga magagandang nagagawa ngayon sa kasalukuyan, paano silang paano sila nagagawa muna mapupunta doon sa product na yun. Pero like, through reading, no, not videos. Reading usually, reading. tapos minsan pag kulang siya pinapanood ko rin yung video kasi I want din. I want visualizations also. Yes. Okay. Maraming salamat Lia and Cyrus. Mamaya babalikan natin si Chelsea and Vera para kausapin din kayo. Pero round 2 naman tayo. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng Key Check. At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. Lia is in the lead with 60 points, followed by Chelsea with 20 points, and then followed by Cyrus and Vera with 10 points each. Ngayon naman, tuloy na natin ang second part ng Kay Chica. Okay, so si Chelsea naman ang kakausapin natin. So Chelsea, paano mo ba nababalance yung love mo for the outdoors at indoors? 
At kung isa lang ang pwede mong gawin, what would you give up? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, how can I balance both? Siguro po I take time na nagsaset na for this weekend I go outdoors and then the other weekend indoors naman po. Pero if I'm gonna choose between outdoors and staying indoors, probably indoors. I am a very introverted person. So I like staying with my books or any series po. Ano series lately yung favorite? Um, nanon po ang k dramas Crash Course and Romance po if you're familiar with that. Ano ba familiar? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much Chelsea for sharing that. Ngayon naman si Vera. So Vera, tell us about the companies that you founded. So what kinds of materials do you produce in this uh, company? So oh, kala ko you're gonna ask about Olio. <laughs> but um, <laughs> later. okay, but they're a uh, multimedia production and also creatives firm. Multimedia production, we do uh, events, photography, videography, live streaming. Uh, basically, any production needs that you that that you would require. And then creatives naman, we do marketing materials, marketing campaigns, and PRs. Okay, so talagang lahat ng anything communication related, no? Okay, so Vera, yun, you have a dog, a seven-year-old. <laughs> it's a mixed breed, breed no? Yes. Pom, uh, pom she? Pomeranian and Shih Tzu. Chelsea actually gave me Olio. Yeah. Oh. Chelsea. <laughs> So, may magkakapatid ba si Olio or sa'yo talaga originally galing lang? Uh, may magkakapatid po and binigay ko sa kanya yung isa. Yeah. So, talagang, okay, for the information of our audience, <laughs> magkakaibigan sila Leah, Chelsea, and Vera. Vera is my sister actually. Oh. <laughs> Surprise! Sister. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Pero different schools lahat. Yes. Karamihan, okay. Now that in college. Pero lahat kami came from the same high school. Okay. So ever since high school ba, sumasali kayo sa mga quiz bees? Oh no. No, <laughs> ngayon lang. Okay. So maraming salamat. So now it's time for round two. So contestants, get ready to buzz in. But make sure you strategize. Because correct answers are worth 20 points each. But you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. This is round two. Question number one. What country found in both Europe and Asia had a region, Leah? Russia. That is wrong. Okay. <laughs> had a region that was once called Asia Minor. The correct answer is Turkey. Question number two. In June 2024, the DENR ordered the strict protection of the nesting site of critically endangered turtles in Cagayan. What is this sea creature that is the largest of all living turtles? Chelsea. Pawikan. Pawikan is wrong. Anyone can still answer? The correct answer is leatherback. Question number three. The straw flower, or everlasting, is the official flower of which city in the Cordilleras? Tyros. Baguio City. Baguio City or Baguio is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. Taken from Greek for all-round education, what term refers to the set of books Arranged alphabetically that gives information. Leah. Encyclopedia. Let me proceed. Information on many subjects. You said encyclopedia, that is correct. Okay, check. So nabutan niya encyclopedia. I mean the physical ones. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Question number five. Who won a female movie star of the year award for Bride for Rent in 2015? The same year she released the hit album Chinita Princess. Chelsea. Kim Chu. Kim Chu is correct. K okay, check. Okay. All right. Question number six. A magnitude seven point zero earthquake rocked Java and nearby islands in April 2023. That caused much panic, but no serious damage. In what country? Indonesia. Let's proceed. In what country is Java the most populated island? You said Indonesia. That is correct. K okay, check. Question number seven. What is the name of Hagrid's dog in the Harry Potter novels, which also means a hollow tooth? The correct answer is Fang. Okay. Question number eight. 
published in 2024, Sunrise of the Reaping is the second prequel novel to what trilogy of books by Suzanne Collins, which was adapted into films starring Jennifer Lawrence. Leah. The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games or Hunger Games is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What is the popular name of the epigram that is typically stated as anything that can go wrong will go wrong? Correct answer is Murphy, Murphy's Law. Question number 10. Which daughter of the King of Philippine Movies won a Best Actress Award for the 2009 film Sagrada Familia? Sarah. Lovey Po. Lovey Po is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. A toadstool is another term for which type of fungus, especially if it is poisonous? Yeah. Mushroom. Mushroom is correct. Okay, check. Last question for this round. Number 12. What ball game is the centerpiece sport in the 2024 film Haikyuu, The Dumpster Battle? Chelsea. Volleyball. Volleyball is correct. Okay, check. And that's it for round number two. Okay, so after that round, let's do a scores recap in the lead pa rin si Leah with 130 points, followed by Chelsea with 50 points, and then we have Cyrus and Vera tied with 30 points each. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng Hey Check! Welcome back to K-Check. Points recap muna tayo. Leah is in the lead with 130 points, followed by Chelsea with 50 points. And then we have Cyrus and Vera with 30 points each. Pero meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. For this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. Kaya naman, let's go for those points and for the win. Let's begin! Simulan na natin ang ating ultimate pagalingan round. First question from Prof. Marian. Biology. Our DNA molecule can easily be damaged or manipulated leading to changes in the genetic code, leading to a mutation. Which of the following causes mutation in the DNA? A. Carbohydrates B. Nitrogen C. Radiation D. Uracil or E. Amino acids Radiation Exposure to radiation can cause mutation of DNA, so mutation na pwedeng coming from x-rays or ultraviolet rays. C. Radiation is correct. K. Check. Prof. Neil. Former Senate Presidents Aquilino Pimentel and Juan Miguel Subiri are from this region in Mindanao. A. Caraga B. Davao C. Northern Mindanao D. Soxargen E. Sambuanga Peninsula D. Soxargen Mali Chelsea Davao Mali okay, Only Leah and Cyrus can answer Cyrus Northern Mindanao Yan. Ang galing ng risk-taking ni Cyrus Galing sa lungsod ng Cagayan de Oro si former Senate President Pimentel at mula naman sa probinsya ng Bukidnon si former Senate President Subiri. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, Northern Mindanao, K-Check. Thank you. Prof. Sophie, next question please. In 1942, national artist for literature Jose Garcia Villa published a collection of poems entitled Have Come, Am Here. One of the poems in this collection is The Emperor's New Sonnet. Of how many lines is this poem composed? A. 16 B. 
14, C, 12, D, 10, E, none of the above. Okay, I thought na somebody you know went for it, but um, the emperor's new sonnet is actually you know after the title is just a blank page. Yeah, so don't get any ideas. <laughs> it's already been done. No? It's just one blank page. Okay. okay. Thank you, Prof. Sophie. Next, and the correct answer is. Um, none of the above. It's really a blank page. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Prof. Sophie. Second round, Prof. Marian. So, pwede ko siyang gawin dalawang blank pages. <laughs> <laughs> that will be something new. Okay. Math naman. Which of the following is divisible by 4? A. 325 B. 454 C. 524 D, 622, or E, 738? Tyrus. C, 524. Parang magaling kang magbilang ng leap year. So, di ba, to test if a year is a leap year, you just have to divide the last two digits. So, divisibility by 4. A number is divisible by 4. If the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4. So among the choices, only 524 will satisfy that. And 524 over 4 is 131. Okay, check. Thank you. Prof. Neil? The democratization movement in this country that began in 1987 and ended in 1988 was influenced by EDSA people power. Very uh, uh, Philippines? Mali, by EDSA People Power, which deposed the Marcos dictatorship in 1986. A. Indonesia, B. Japan, C. South Korea, B. Taiwan. Korea. Indonesia. Mali, E. Thailand. South Korea. Wow, itong bansa kung saan galing ang K-pop at K-drama. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C, South Korea, k check. Sophie. The Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci is probably the most recognizable work of the Italian Renaissance. What medium was it painted in? A. Watercolor on paper B. Tempera on wood C. Oil on canvas D. There you uh, C. Oil on canvas Malipo. Watercolor on canvas. Malipo. Anyone? Um, let me finish the choices. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so, C, oil on canvas. D, oil on wood. E, fresco. Yeah. Fresco. Malipo. <laughs> tempera on wood. I'm sorry? B, tempera on wood. <laughs> well, at least pare pareho kayo. <laughs> um, well, we usually pair oil with canvas, di ba? But the Mona Lisa was actually painted, no? Oil on wood. It's hard. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you, Prof. Sophie. So, since maraming movements sa scores ninyo, let's do a scores recap. Okay. So, Leah is still in the lead with 130 points, followed by Cyrus with 75 points, Chelsea with 50 points, and Vera with negative 15. <laughs> May utang ka pa. Okay. For the next half, we still have 180 points na pwede niyong makuha. Okay? So, round three, Prof. Marian. Parang dali lang kausap eh, no? During World War II, the first atomic bombs were used causing an enormous amount of damage and loss of lives. An atomic explosion is caused by a nuclear reaction which is the conversion of which of the following? A. Chemical into heat energy B. Mechanical into electrical energy C. Mass into energy D. Mechanical into nuclear energy 
or E effusion? Cyrus, E effusion. Mali. Chelsea. Mechanical into nuclear energy. Mali. Pia. Chemical to heat. A. Vera. C. Mass into energy. Galing niya mga <laughs> So, I don't know if you watched Oppenheimer. So, the physicist in Los Alamos. But he was imagining the atoms. And if you remember um, Einstein's E equals MC squared, the amount of energy is actually based on mass. So, the answer is C, mass into energy. K, check. Prof. Neil? The Liberal Democratic Party is the ruling party of what Asian country for decades? A. Japan B. Malaysia C. South Korea D. Taiwan E. Thailand Itinatag ito noong 1955 um, siyang tinatawag na conservative party sa bansang ito uh, nagsilbing prime minister mula sa LDP si Shinzo Abe ang kasulukuyang prime minister ng Japan si Fumio Kishida ay bahagi ng LDP so ang tamang sagot ay letter A Japan Thank you Prof Sophie your question please <clears throat> At the Miss World 1993 Q&A portion Rufo Gutierrez quoted, What is essential is invisible to the naked eye. The complete and correct quotation is, It is only with the heart that one can see rightly. What is essential is invisible to the eye. From what book did these words of wisdom come from? A. The Prince B. The Little Prince Chelsea. The Little Prince um, The Little Prince um, is correct It was written by Antoine de saint Exupéry, um, And he was not just a writer He was also a pilot So we can see it from The Little Prince's ano, outfit Okay, check! Okay, so now we're off to our last round Last 90 points Prof. Marian Sana maka-perfect score ako. Sir Neil. <laughs> okay. Ito madali lang. Sige na, please answer this. What is the cosine of 180 degrees? A. Negative 1 B. 1 half C. 1 D. 0 or E. Undefined. Ano sana ang sagot mo? One. Ah, mali pa din. Okay. So, 180 <laughs> degrees <laughs> is like this, right? So, that's pi. So, if you have a circle, nasa side siya na negative one, zero. So, cosine is negative one. Prof. Neil. Nakadalawa pala ako. So, sana matama nyo to para tatlo. Okay. Oh, highest ko na para sa <laughs> sa araw na to. Okay. The legislature of this country has the highest percentage of elected dynastic lawmakers. Vera? Myanmar? Mali. A. Argentina B. Mexico C. Japan D. Philippines E. United States Philippines. Paulit liya yung sasagot mo. Philippines. Philippines. Karamihan ng mga miyembro ng ating uh, kongreso ay mula sa political dynasties. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Philippines K check. Thank you so much. Now we're off to our last question for this round. Prof Sophie. Okay, um unahan lang to. Promise. 
Okay. What 20th century artistic movement? Leah. Oh, 20th century. Oh, what Sorry. happened? You, the last. Okay, I will continue. What 20th century artistic movement draws its subject matter from dreams, the unconscious, and the irrational? A. Abstract Expressionism B. Pointillism C. Cubism D. Surrealism E. Impressionism Cyrus D. Surrealism Okay, Surrealism draws its ano, themes from dreams and the unconscious. Surrealism is correct. K-Check! And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Leah, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 130 points. Thank you so much. Actually, si Leah ay returnee from Season 2 at naging daily winner ka rin that time. Correct. Okay. So, we'll see her again tomorrow when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Maraming salamat din sa ating mga contestants, Cyrus, Chelsea, and Vera. Palakpakan natin sila. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Sophie. I'm Jules Kiang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check!